Hey guys! Over the past few weeks, months, I have shared my hair care routine with you, my skincare routine, my nail routine. So today I thought it would be nice to show you my kind of everyday makeup routine. Up until now, all of my routines have been pretty basic and simple, and that's kind of how I like all of my beauty routines. So makeup is going to be pretty much the same. Um, I have a very simple, basic, minimal makeup routine down that I like to use for kind of everyday wear. Of course, sometimes I like to wear a little bit more makeup, sometimes I don't wear any makeup at all. But this is kind of my go-to on a day-to-day -day basis. So basically it is a five product makeup routine. So I'm gonna walk you through everything today, um, show you everything that I use. Of course, I do wear glasses now, which is a little bit of a change from the last time I showed you my kind of daily makeup routine. And it kind of makes me feel like there's already something going on even when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. So if you also wear glasses and you do like to look like you're wearing some type of makeup, I have a video up for kind of like a makeup tutorial for girls with glasses that I, where I share a lot of tips on kind of how to make makeup pop behind glasses, but I personally like to go for a more kind of natural look. So let me just take these glasses off, pin back my bangs for a start so that we can start working on this makeup look. So the first thing I always do is to work on the skin, kind of the base of my face. And for that, I just use concealer. And I do currently use two colors because I'm kind of in between my summer color and my winter color, as you will. These are both the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealers. I have been using these for years and I have numbers one and two here. And I mainly just use these on my under eye area to kind of cover up my dark circles because that's kind of when I look at my face without makeup that is kind of the most noticeable thing to me and um, my nose is a little bit red but I feel like as soon as I get rid of this the redness on my nose isn't as noticeable anymore so I'm just gonna apply one dot under each eye that is number two the slightly darker color and then I take the lighter color and I apply another dot right next to it and then I just use my fingers to blend this in. I have adopted a completely brush-free makeup routine um, for several reasons. First of all, I feel like it's just a lot quicker to use fingers for this. Second of all, it saves me the hassle of having to clean makeup brushes, which honestly I never used to do as frequently as I should, in which case I feel like it's better to just not use them at all. Plus it just works really well with concealer, I feel like when you just use your fingers to blend it in. So as you can see, I am taking it down a little bit. I am blending it up pretty thin and taking it down onto kind of this area of my face where I do feel like I have a little bit of redness. Sometimes when I feel like it's needed, um, depends on the weather, you know, how I feel and <laughs> things like that, I will take a little bit more of number two and just apply that on the tip of my nose a little bit. Again, to just get rid of a little bit of that redness. This is not something I do on a daily basis. Just whenever I feel like I need a little bit more coverage in this area. But I do have a gold right now, so my nose is just a little bit redder than usual. And again, just a very thin layer will do. So that is all for skin. I don't feel like I need to set this with powder. It doesn't really do much in terms of making it last longer or look better or anything. I just feel like it gives my whole face a more powdery look and it's not necessarily what I go for. Again, since I'm going for a very natural makeup here. So next up is eyebrows. And for that, I have been using eyebrow pencil and I have been using this one by Catrice. It is the Slimmatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil Waterproof. Um, it has a little spoolie on the back, which is really handy to just kind of comb the eyebrows. And then it has a very thin kind of tip on the top here. So I just use that to draw in my eyebrows a little bit. And I have gotten into the habit of drawing my eyebrows in kind of more at the top rather than at the bottom, which kind of helps lift them a little bit, if you get what I mean. Because I used to draw them in on the bottom, which kind of makes them lower. If you draw them in on the top, it makes them a little bit higher. Um, and I feel like it just gives me a bit of a fresher look while still giving me a nice and heavy brow, which is kind of my preferred look of the moment. And I do also always extend my eyebrow out a bit. I started using this pencil not too long ago and I absolutely love it because it is super inexpensive. I believe it was like three euros, somewhere around that price. And it is actually cool toned. I need cool toned brow products like very badly. And nearly all of them are just 
too warm and they look orange on me and it's just not a good look. But this one is inexpensive, it is the perfect color and it actually lasts all day. It's super easy to apply. I am very, very happy with this, especially considering the price. It's a very good find, so I definitely recommend that. Let's see what color is this. Oh, the color is Cool Brown, number 40. If you're looking for a product like this, I can definitely recommend this one. So then I just go over with the spoolie one more time, kind of soften this up. But I don't take it over the tail because I do like that to look a little bit more sharp. All right, so then I just go over with a brow gel to set everything in place. My eyebrows are, well, they don't, the hairs don't grow in the same direction across all of my eyebrow. So they actually grow up at the beginning and then they grow down at the outside of my brow, which just makes them look weird <laughs> if I just let them go. So I make sure to comb everything into a nice shape. And this brow gel by Anastasia, it really, really holds super well so i'm very happy with that so next up moving on to the eyelashes i like to start by using an eyelash curler to just help my eyelashes curl up i have pretty straight eyelashes so i feel like i can use a little bit of extra lift the mascara i'm using is currently a sample of benefits roller lash that i got on a brush sample a while back this is one of my favorite mascaras ever so I wanted to make sure I used that sample up. I really, really like this mascara. I've never had one that holds curl this well. I always tilt my head back when I apply mascara just to make sure that I don't touch my eyelid, even when I'm not wearing any eyeshadow. It just saves you the hassle of having to remove it afterwards. And as I'm sure you've guessed by now, I'm all about the quick and easy makeup look. So any extra steps that can be avoided, I'll try to do so. <laughs> So when I've got in my top lashes, I'll take whatever's left on the little wand and just very lightly go over my bottom lashes as well. That is it for the eyes. So there is only one more product left. It is really a super quick routine. I can do this within like five minutes in the morning. And that is a lip product. Most days I do wear some type of lip product, a lipstick or liquid lipstick but on kind of more casual days I like to go for a tinted lip balm so I have been using these from uh, La Bella I believe they're sold as Nivea in other countries anyways it's their new kind of colored crayons and these are very nice kind of buildable lipsticks tinted lip balms lip stain type products just really nice to throw onto your lips if you want to get a little bit of color but don't want to wear anything too heavy So then when I take my hair down again and put my glasses back on, it looks something like this. It's a super, super minimal, I'd almost say no makeup makeup look if it wasn't for the lipstick. I do like to wear a lipstick that's kind of noticeable. You know, there are plenty of times when I don't wear a lipstick at all, especially if I want to spend most of my time at home or plan to eat a lot, which is pretty much always. <laughs> but anyways, this is how I have been doing my makeup for the past while. Very simple, very minimal, just five products, super quick to do in the morning but still leaves you looking, you know, just a little bit more put together and polished. So I really hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video right there that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!